Are you starting? Yep. Okay. Many people have uh, wondered why some people don't use uh, air conditioning compressors more than, uh, say, perhaps a York compressor. Um, this video is to show you how to set up an air conditioning compressor the right way. To start with, we have three switches here. This switch turns on the compressor, this controls the high idle, and this purges the oil collection container. Now we'll go around, look under the hood, and see the rest of the components. This is the onboard air compressor here. You can notice that it's identical to the air conditioning pressure compressor here, which is functional. Normally we have filtered air here. It's, it comes off of the air box, which has been removed so that we can see all the components easier because uh, all this is taken up with the air intake. The compressor is vented right here, and here's the, a vent for it. It's on a T. This is an ARB valve uh, that comes with air lockers and it's kind of a special valve because it uh, is slightly vented one way in the closed position. We have quick disconnect fittings here because the air intake comes through here so that we can remove the air intake quickly and it comes around here like so. This is the purge valve for the uh, oil collection system which is this uh, oil separator right here or excuse me, right here is the oil separator system. I got this from Kilby Enterprises. It has pipe fittings on the bottom so that you can plumb it into a uh, pipe. Here's the manifold. We have several things hooked up to it. One here is the pop-off valve. Here's the air line that goes uh, to the front and to the back. Also on a quick disconnect, uh, the air tank is in the back. It's a standard Vi-Air two-gallon tank. This is the pressure switch. It turns on the compressor and turns it off. We have a regulator here with two ARB valves for future air lockers as soon as we get around to putting the axles in. Uh, this is going to be set at 100 pounds and the pressure switch uh, cuts off at 150 pounds. So now I'm going to start the thing up and you'll see how it works. The first thing we're going to do is start the engine and then we'll engage the compressor at an idle and then I'll engage the fast idle and you'll see how that works. This is completely deflated. This is a 31 by 1050 tire, and we'll take it up to about 30 pounds. The 
this compressor puts out about 12 cubic feet per minute or better at 100 psi. Um, it's what it's rated for at 300. So uh, you can imagine it gets right with it. The reason you can run it so hard is that this crankcase has oil in it. And one of the problems with running a sand and compressor is that you have to lubricate it. And normally, if it's an air conditioning pump like this one is, there's oil in the refrigerant that lubricates it. But here we don't have that luxury, so we run oil in the crankcase and keep it lubricated that way. That way we can use it as a continuous duty compressor and we can fill as many tires as we want without uh, ruining the compressor. So the way to get that to work is first of all here's the vent right here. When this uh, compressor starts up this valve right here opens and it relieves the pressure on the crankcase and it works just like the crankcase ventilation on an engine you have to ventilate it otherwise the oil will start getting forced past the rings. So by keeping the pressure out of the crankcase any oil that would escape the rings is now pushed back into the crankcase. But there's a little bit that does get by and that is collected here in this oil separator. And when it comes time to uh, recycle the oil, otherwise we would eventually lose all of our oil, this vent here will close and then I will hit the, the button on the purge valve and while the system is under pressure this valve opens and puts all the oil back through this line and into the crankcase and it's ready to go innumerable number of times that way. So that in essence is is how you set it up to to do a lot of work. We can run impact wrenches all day, we can fill tires all day with this and it never has a problem. We run Valvoline 2050 racing oil in it which is a high temperature engine oil and we've never never had a problem and, and never uh, froze this pump up. It's been in operation now for about three years. There's no bugs in it and I'm sure it'll operate for another five or ten without any problem.